country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the money. That's why you gotta make your own moves. What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Sot checking back in. What's happening, everybody? All right, baby, I know the routine. Appreciate everybody that's already subscribed. That's already interacting with the channel, man. If you're new to my channel, sit back. If you like what you see, man, all I ask is hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below or hit that thumbs up. Do your part, baby. Most men can't handle or um, control their feelings when there's something that's really, really serious. Especially when it comes to something that's close to you or home to you, like your girlfriend or your wife, which that's the story I'm gonna be getting into today. Playful killer or a cheerful killer, put it like that. So this is a little white kid, about 130 pounds, um, about 5'2", man that was in the penitentiary with us. You wouldn't even know this guy got a life sentence and, and, and until, you know, unless you know his background, what he did and shit. Uh, it's crazy though, he killed his best friend on his birthday. But the story is even more crazy. Nice looking kid. So he used to have a girl and he would treat her, you know, like his girl, but every now and then he'd still play around with her. Long story short, she ended up catching him a few times in a relationship while uh, they was in a relationship. She ended up catching them a few times, cheating this and that, this and that. Uh, they work through the shit, you know, like regular couples. Uh, he say he go on with life, you know. But he say the reason he used to do that shit all the time was because the environment he was always in. He say he used to just always go to like parties and shit. They have parties at his house. His best friend will have parties. They have a group of guys, so he's always looking at the party scene. So one day, you know, his birthday come up and shit. They getting ready to throw him a party. He know we're gonna have a party tonight. His girl is gonna attend the party. They all know each other. His best friend, his girl, him. Um, another one of her home girls, uh, another chick. So it's like a group. It's like four girls, like three guys, something like that. They have having a good time. So he told me they all go crash, have a good time at night. They smoking weed, they motherfucking drinking and shit. You know, doing the regular party shit that people do. Just decided to come through while I was doing my video. Fuck wrong with you. Don't ever let it happen again. Or I'll blow that bitch up. Ah, uh, that was my joke for the day, man. If it was corny or not, oh well, laugh. Alright. So back to what I was saying though. And I, this was like his 22nd birthday or something, 21st birthday or something. They went out, they had him drinking, drinking, drinking. So they get back to the house about 1.30, 2 o'clock. It's, it's real, real late. He said he get in, man. He said he drunk so much that he throwing up everywhere. He had already started throwing up in the car on the way to the house. And then when, when he get there, you know, he ended up throwing. He don't remember much what happened. So basically two chicks and like three guys. So he said he ended up crashing out going to sleep. He threw up like in the restroom floor and passed out. He woke up and on the floor um, in the living room of the house. And he said when he got up, he came to, it was like 5.30. He said as soon as he got up, he ran straight to the restroom and threw up again. So he's sick, sick. Started looking for his, you know, best friend, his homeboy, because he's sick. He finna get up out of there. So boom, he go into a bedroom. And when he walk in the bedroom, he see his girl laid in bed with his homeboy. They sleep ass naked. He said, man, I instantly grew up again. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. It's my birthday and shit. This motherfucker cheated on me on my birthday. She laid up with my best friend in the bed on my birthday. So he said he's just losing, man. He gonna get a pistol. He said I was gonna scare the shit out of him. You feel me? So he said he ran and got the pistol. He like, man, yeah, I'm just finna pistol whip this motherfucker. I'm finna beat him up bad and shit. That's what he said he had planned to do. So boom, he go get the pistol. He run in the room while they sleep. They still dead to the world. And he said, man, sock. When I got closer, closer and closer to the bed, just looking at the two naked, he said, hey, and then I just lost it, man. I yelled, what the fuck? And then he said, his best friend starting to move. So I grabbed the pillow, put it over his head, and shot one time. He said, that was the loudest gunshot I've ever heard in my life. I just snapped back to reality, and my girl woke up too. So I'm like, damn. He said, man, once I seen the blood on the pillow and shit, he was like, man, everything just started coming back to reality. And so my girl, 
girl, she's freaking out. She panicking now. He said the people in the living room running in there to see what's, what the fuck's going on. And he said he's just freaking out. He's pointing the gun at everybody, but he keeps pointing it at her. It's just, you're going to jail. You're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. You're going to jail. He said, man, I just lost it. All I heard was her kept saying, she, I'm going to jail. It's like, she's going to tell on me, shit like that, man. And I just pointed it at her, and I squeezed the trigger and shot her right in the mouth. He said everybody else just took off running. He said at that point, I was just planning on killing everybody, but they took off running. Now I'm chasing them. He said, then he started chasing. He said, I don't know what got over me, man. It was it was like, a, it was a whole nother person inside of me. He said, I just snapped because all I'm thinking about is getting caught, going to jail now. He said, so he chased them and tried to kill them too. Long story short, they got away, brought the laws back, and they took them down hard and fast, man. Oh. Um, and this is just him re reliving the story, telling me about it. I'm like, damn, dude, you killed your best friend on your birthday? It's fucked up on both ends, but damn. Boom, I pick his brain a little further, you know, after he tell me, you know, everything and why he got the license. So I'm like, damn, so what the fuck? You didn't even ask questions? Did you get a chance to find out, like, why she did it? What's going on, this and that? He was like, nah, but I know why, man. I know why she did it now. She's she's been planning it on it. She's been plotting it, man. I fucked her best friend. I fucked her best friend like her sister, man. And boom, she got me back and he hurt. So he ended up fucking one of her friends that used to be hanging with her all the time. They you know how girls act like, oh, this is my sister and that. So they were really close. So she ended up finding out about that, you know, breaking off to all ties with that friend and shit. But that don't change the fact that he had sex with her best friend. And some women are like that. They will get back. You know what I'm saying? They'll play it all smooth. You know, everything good. And get you back in there and for what you've done. Fellas, we got to stop doing this trifling shit, man. It's rules. Motherfuckers don't believe this shit. But if if, if you gonna, you ever heard this term, if you're going to do something, at least do it with dignity. dignity. You know what I'm saying? So, first off, you're not supposed to be cheating on your girl because you know that causes feelings hurting feelings period you know and a lot of women are built off emotions um men more so on pride but men do get in their feelings more deeper than women see as you notice with this story she was like okay boom i can't do nothing to him i can't she probably did want to kill that motherfucker but she didn't act on her the way she felt you know what i'm saying it's a lot of women out there believe that fellas we all get caught it's yeah y'all might think like oh, okay she'll live or she'll be okay but at that moment she want to kill your motherfucking ass straight up i don't care care who you cheated with it can be the the ugliest motherfucker it could be an accident it could be i got drunk I, all that shit is out the window if you cheat on your lady man she feel strong about it You know what I'm talking about Most of them would just go to swinging But if they had a motherfucking gun And it, they could get away with killing your ass Or bring you back after they kill you They will You know what I'm saying If it was like a kill him And then okay I got one pass to wake him up I Wake him up Boom A lot of women would do that shit They'll kill your ass just on G Let you know they ain't playing Bow! And then they'll use the only one pass And wake you up And let you know Hey look you ain't getting no more passes. Next time I kill you, a lot of women would do that, man. But there's no such thing. So when a man gets cheated on, a, some men can handle it. A lot of men can't. You got abusive men. They find out shit. They go to work beating them. Okay, I guess that's better than killing. And then you got the men that's like, okay, boom. You can't be with nobody else. Since you are, you have been, shit, they lose it. They don't think and they'll go ended up killing us. Men can miss me with that. Oh, I ain't got no feelings, no emotions and all that shit. Because there's a lot of men right now in the penitentiary behind doing something crazy for their woman or because their woman did something. About 70%. So when it comes to, man, so when it comes to society, man, happiness, love, relationships, man, if you choose to be with a person, you make a commitment with the person, man, y'all communicate, y'all talk about shit. If you feel like stepping out, see a bad little, ooh, ooh, talk to them. The worst, the worst answer you can get is no. Vice versa, women. Boom, the worst answer you can get is no. Now, no real nigga gonna let you do no crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the women. No real woman is gonna let her man do nothing crazy. You feel me? I have to keep that respect factor in the relationship. 
Once the respect factor is gone, um, it causes tension problems, shit like that. It causes infidelity, shit like that, man. Two is better than one, you feel me? I don't know what society promoting nowadays, like especially with these guy rappers, like, they all talking about, man, I ain't never getting married, all this other shit. They promoting that, so a lot of young guys coming up like, I ain't never getting married. Now, that's the traditional way to do things, y'all. Meet somebody, fall in love, get married, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what a, what a nigga tell you What all these old hardcore niggas tell you Everybody wants somebody It's just That's the way we were built We were built to intertwine Man and woman were built to be together man for, I don't care what anybody I don't care what any one of these rappers say They all end up having some kind of chick that they cut for it tough and vice versa you got the Megan, Megan Stallions out here you got the uh, city girls all promoting hot girl shit truth is ladies they want that man to brag about they want that man to call oh this is my man you know he take care of me he do this he do this look he just bought me that they want that same shit don't let them lie to you thinking they just on that hot girl shit you know what i'm saying they a hot girl until they find that right man that's gonna eh, come here girl hold on you doing too much put some clothes on nah for real real nigga always will change you ever see a man with a chick Boom, and she doing all kinds of shit, and then boom, they break up, and she go with another nigga. You be like, damn, she a whole nother person now. Two different men, man. Two different men. One gonna tolerate this shit, the other one ain't. He gonna put it like, hey, <laughs> you mine now. You better put some motherfucking clothes on. Nah, for real, for real. And if you do step out like that, it's with me on it. Nah, for real. We got a no panty rule. Me and my chick, we got a no panty rule. If you ain't got no panties on, because a lot of women don't like wearing panties when they got dresses or you know, certain shit on, then you with me only. If I ever catch you without no panties on and you ain't with me, we're going to have an issue. That's it. That's just the law, baby. Same thing. Vice versa with me, man. I got great sweatpants on. I ain't got no drawers on. I free ball sometimes. From time to time. Dick all hanging, swinging and shit. I'm with girl, with baby, you feel me? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Look at your face. I'm joking. Fuck y'all. <laughs> all right, I done free balled a few times. <laughs> Nigga, you had to. Everybody, every man did it at least once in their life. But now nah, we have, uh, you know, rules, regulations, and understandings, man. That's what it's about. Fellas, stop getting in your feelings. Ladies, stop getting in your feelings. Ladies usually jump it off when they get in their feelings with a punch or swing, something. You got, you know, then you got the classy women out here that just so hurt they cry, you know, and no man wants to see that. If you're a real man, you don't ever want to see your lady just laying there, sitting there, hurt behind you. That's how I look at it every time. If I'm ever, I done been in a few situations where I done hurt my lady or my girl, and I just be like, damn, shh. The reason she balling like that is because of me. And I always fix it, man. That's what a man does. But appreciate everybody, man. We growing on the channel. People hitting that subscribe button. Because this is real life, man. We talk about real life shit. For real. No, for real, for real, man. Um, just be careful out there. Be smart, man. Build a, build a strong relationship by communicating, man. If some relationships have competitions with each other, man. Y'all ain't in no competition. Y'all together. You feel me? Don't be trying to, oh, this person was looking at me. Oh, today this guy was looking at me. That type of shit. Oh, well, this girl was looking at me today. Da -da -da -da. Some relationships are like that, man. You be like, man, y'all tripping. <laughs> Want to see who the most valuable and shit. We both value. You feel me? That's just what it is. But appreciate everybody, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with another video with Sock. Much love, much respect. It's your boy Sox signing out.